So for those of you that are trying to defeat Frost Stallion or get it low enough so it's easier to catch, so you have a higher percentage of catching it, well, I got a method for you guys that's going to help out with that. And you could do this with any boss. I decided I would just make a video directly over Frost Stallion for those of you that may be looking up how to cheese him and stuff. First off, he's located up here in the snowy region. This pal is seriously one of the best that you can get in the game. Anyways, once you get over here to Frost Stallion's battlegrounds, all you gotta do is just pull out your base nearby Frost Stallion. So, you won't be able to place your base super close to it, but you're gonna be able to place it close enough to it where you can lead Frost Stallion to your base. So basically just place your base as soon as it says you're able to. At first it's going to say you're too close to the boss and once that message goes away and you're able to place your base, just place it because that's as close as it's going to be getting to the boss's radius. So yeah, I've ended up placing mine over here. It's a nice spot for this method. I don't know if you can find a better one, but this one worked out for me over here. But yeah, now all we gotta do is just get out a bunch of pals at our base, get your strongest out. And then once you've done that, just go and attack Frostallion and lead him back to your base. And all those pals that you got out at your base are going to attack Frostallion. Whenever they see danger around in the area, they're all gonna join in and try to take care of the danger. So yeah, this is a great method. And this works for pretty much every other pal, not just Frostallion. I feel like I've been using bases all wrong after I started doing this. So now you have a bunch of pals going against Frost Stallion. And you can always spawn in even more at your base anytime you want. Uh, just get rid of the ones that died and then just spawn in more. In this video, you're going to see me doing that quite a bit. And also, if you get taken out while doing this method, you can just respawn back at your base. And more than likely, your pals are going to still be fighting Frost Stallion or doing damage to it of some kind, so its health won't reset when you die trying to do this solo. It's definitely beneficial in that sense as well. This is a great method to do to easily defeat Frost Stallion or get it low enough for you to capture it. It'll make things way easier. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be 100% guarantee that you're going to be able to catch Frost Stallion because it is a tough one to catch but it is gonna make it easier for you to get it low enough so you can have a higher percentage to catch it. Hope you all end up catching it. This method genuinely did help me out, so figured I'd share it with some of you that may not know about this. But yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and just let this footage play out over me using this method to capture it. I just, you know, got it low enough and then I kept trying with the pow ball until I was able to actually capture it. And I was using legendary spheres as well, so yeah, keep that in mind. Yeah, hope you all find this enjoyable, and it does help you out like it helped me. Figured I'd just share it even more to get it out there to more players, to hopefully help even more players out by them using this. But yeah, I'm out of here, everyone. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.